Hi there. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get her out now. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I've made some other apartment tour kind of videos. Um, I'll link them in the in the information section below if you want to see the kind of housing I've lived in. So I live in Chiba and this apartment is a 10 minute walk to Chiba station or 5 minute walk to the closer station Chiba Chuo. The apartment I'm living right now is uh, Rokuman Gosen or about $650 a month. This apartment is technically a 1DK which means like one bedroom and one dining room but realistically it's more like just one big room. I like the fact that I'm on the 8th floor. Since I'm high up, it's not too loud from the streets or from the drunk people at night or the cars. And because I'm higher up in the summertime, there's not a lot of mosquitoes or cockroaches or anything like that. So it's pretty clean and nice up here. And because it's small, the utilities aren't that expensive as well. There's an elevator and the hallways are indoor, not outdoor. So it's actually really good for insulation. It's pretty warm in here. It doesn't really feel too cold or too hot. And the most important thing, which is one of the reasons why I decided to choose this place, is it allows pets. That's the thing about apartments in Japan. There are a lot of apartments that are not too expensive if you're willing to go for like older apartments or a little bit far away from the station but there's very few apartments that allow pets as well. So in Chiba I pretty much had only two or three choices of apartments that allowed pets that fit my budget. And the reason why nobody was renting this place out is there's no laundry machine and there's no laundry machine area. Um, in Japan for laundry machines you need a specific like pipe area and water um, system. I don't even know how to explain it but there was not one built in this unit. All the other ones have it, but my unit is the only one that doesn't have area to put a laundry machine with the piping. But the closest coin laundry is like about a 20 minute walk from here, uh, by bike about 10 minutes. Uh, I made a video about that as well, so if you want to check that out, you can see how coin laundries work in Japan. By the way, that $650 doesn't include utilities. If I add water, electricity, and gas, it will probably be around 700, maybe 750 even. Here is the ginkan or the shoe area. It's pretty spacious. There's a shoe closet. I keep my amazing collection of hats here. Some maple goods. And since I don't have a coat rack, that's my coat. This is the water boiler room. And uh, there's the water boiler in the back. But it's also been converted into a place for maple and kaide stuff plus storage. As you can see, Maple and Kaide are really enjoying it. Oh, Kaide. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get her out now. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Squatty potty. Toilet. Sink. Towels. Toiletries. Shower. Sink. Tub and a drain where everything goes through. This is my closet with shelves to put all my clothes in on this side. And then on this side, my laundry for dirty clothes. Then this door opens up into my living room kitchen thing with maple eating his food a sofa here which opens up to a bed if i need it um a tv here it's kind of big this is my kitchenette and in here all my stuff is This is where Kaide eats, as well as where the burger is, and it can't turn on automatically, so it's safe. And in there, I have my rice cooker and bags and Tupperware. This is my garbage can right here, which is overflowing. I have this rack for maple goods and cleaning products. My fridge, my microwave, my toaster. 
and my coffee maker. And then this table here has a kettle and stuff. I'm using this microwave popcorn box to hold up this, uh, whatever this is called, a plug thing, because some of the stuff doesn't reach. Um, also, this is for my toothbrush because there's no place in the bathroom to plug anything in. So I have to use to charge my electric toothbrush there. And then you open this room here. And that's my bedroom. This is my bed. My bedside humidifier and Himalayan lamp. This is Kaide's cat tower and her litter and outside is the balcony the balcony has my surfboard and a lot of boxes then this is my bookshelf which is overflowing with CDs and books and random things it's kind of small but whatever this is my computer table with my computer and my camera and a lot of my other like headphones and stuff like that. This is my storage closet. As you can see, it's a goddamn mess. There's blankets and pillows and a whole bunch of random books and bags and suitcases and stuff, vacuum and storage place for like everything. These are all toys, everything here is all toys and stuff for my teaching and flashcards and everything, everything that I own is pretty much in there. It is a decent amount of space, especially for a single person. I do have like a dog and a cat, but still it's doable. The only problem is I don't have the furniture or the shelving or the right kind of like organizing that would make this place a lot more uh, space friendly and as you know I have a couple of weird neighbors I've also made a video about that so but that can't be helped that's just life right I don't mean to hate on this apartment I actually like it it's not bad and considering the location and the price it's pretty good and I don't want to compare this to my apartments that I've had when I lived in Vancouver or Toronto because I know that's a completely different thing but from the apartments that I've had in Japan I would rate this somewhere in the middle. It's not the best apartment, but it's also definitely not the worst. Anyway, if you are looking for apartments in Japan and if you're not coming with a lot of money, uh, this might be some place similar to what you'll be living in. So there you go, that's my Japanese apartment in Chiba that I pay $650 a month for. Thanks for watching, don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video and share. Also if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos because my videos are awesome. Aussie awesome. Take care and see you next time. Peace.